Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your TP-Link router. And before starting, if this video helps, please support me. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below. So, first thing you need to do is turn on the router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end into an outlet. and the other into the router. When the router is powered on, the light will turn on. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, connect the cable from your broadband provider or from your modem to a special internet port. This port usually has a different color and labeled as WAN. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you need to reset the router to the factory settings. Press and hold the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Until the indicator lights on the router begin to flash. Sometimes this button is located inside the router casing to avoid accidental pressing. In this case, use a thin object to press on it. The router will reboot and the settings will return to the factory defaults. Insert one end of the Ethernet cable that comes with the router into one of the Ethernet ports. and D the other into your computer's Ethernet port. Please wait a few minutes for connection. The router is now connected to your computer. Now you need to set it up. But first, I will show you another method for connecting the router if you do not have an Ethernet cable or your computer does not have an Ethernet port. Connect the router to the power adapter and cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If the router is new and has never been configured, the Wi-Fi network will have the name of your router. Your router has its own Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a sticker. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning you will see a form with a login and password. Usually it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log in to the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed, just watch the video and follow the instructions. At first, you need to set a password for the router's admin panel. Click on this button. Keep in mind that, depending on your firmware version, some setup steps may be different or appear in a different order. But don't worry, you've got this. Just watch the video and follow instructions. On the first screen, select your time zone. If you're not sure which one to choose, just select any. On the next page, select your internet connection type. 
This is usually specified in your contract with the internet provider. If you don't know, try clicking on this button for auto detection. The router will attempt to determine the connection type automatically. If detection fails, select dynamic IP. Depending on the type of connection you selected, the next page might look different from mine. If you chose dynamic IP, you'll need to select one of the options shown. If your internet provider allows internet access only for a specific MAC address, you'll need to clone the MAC address of your primary computer. If you're not sure, just select Use Default MAC Address. In most cases, cloning the MAC address isn't necessary. But if you don't get internet access after the quick setup, repeat the setup and try cloning the MAC address. On the next page, set a name and password for your future Wi-Fi network. You'll see one or more available Wi-Fi bands for your router. If there are several, enable them all and set a name and password for each network. When you write the credentials, click the next button. If you were connected to the router via the Wi-Fi network, reconnect to it. On this page, you can configure the TP-Link cloud service. You don't need to do anything here, just click Skip. Next, you'll see a summary of all the settings you've entered. Click this button to confirm. Wait while the router tries to connect to the internet. If it fails, double check that all cables are properly connected. Click Skip, then try rebooting the router. If it connects successfully, check whether the internet is working, just Google something. If it's still not working, you'll need to reboot the router manually. To do this, go to Advanced. Then select System. Select Reboot tab and click on the Reboot button. Then check whether the internet is working, just Google something. If the internet still doesn't appear, log back into the router's admin panel using the password you created at the start. Go to the internet. And then clone MAC address. Save the settings. Reboot your router again. And after a couple of minutes, check internet connection. If internet still doesn't appear, contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below.